five minutes from Tokyo. On the program next week, we'll be talking about... Okay, that's typical session four. Now, can we answer? How many years ago did you say what's five, 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 five. It's 5,000. Guys, since it's a, uh, it's a cardinal number, don't forget the comma in between the first, uh, the five and the first zero. Correct. How about the amount of rice? How many? 551 million tons. It's in million tons. Million tons. So, yes, it would be wrong. So it's, yes. If you write just literally 550 tons, that's usually different 550 million tons. Okay. Guys, there are a couple of ways in which you can write million. You can write all the six zeros with the two commas, you know, in between, mm. or you can just write down the word million. million. And just right. M? Like Omega? M. I was about to say something about that because if you write M, it would be misconstrued as meter or metric. So you have to spell out million, otherwise it would be incorrect. What about the word thousand? Then? It thousand. would be not correct. Uh, how did you do it? Uh, it's five and then five a thousand. Four. Five and then the word thousand? Yeah. Oh, if in case it's 5,000, say, for a different number or a different item, uh, this is still good. However, you are you normally use another three zeros like that because it's much easier to write than this one over here. So therefore, for number one, technically this is still fine, but the way to write it, especially since it's years, normally we present years in this way. Yes. But for the M, just be very careful with that theater because it can be meters or metric for that case. So just write the word million instead. All right, how many calories are there? 103. Yeah. yeah, he did say 103, not 103, but they're the same. So besides drinks and blue, you can also make clothes. clothes. Where was it open? March, 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 March. Okay. Earlier, I noticed many of you wrote 11 p.m. But guys, the question asks for the day, day not the time it closes. So on what day does it close? Tuesday. 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 He said we are open every day of the week every except day. on Tuesday. Tuesday. So therefore, it's Tuesday. Guys, I did I did give you a heads up earlier. Be careful with number six. Okay, on which level are the souvenir shops? First. Okay, first, take note you are allowed a number also, so therefore we can write one as T as in first. What are shown on the TV guys? All adverts. All adverts. Okay. The speaker so uh, said and an overhead TV shows adverts from the past. 25, 25 years. years. 25 so he did years not say the word old, but he did say for the past 25 years. So the answer is adverts. Uh, adverts. 25 years. <laughs> old 25 years. Okay. Oftentimes, what you do is just see if it makes sense. So if you write old 25 years shown on TV, it wouldn't make any sense, right? So you have to choose something else. Adverse, that's uh, the British way of saying ads. Because uh, in the Philippines, our English is very American. Of course, in the case of Joseph, that should be a breeze. Of course, that's adverse in the case of the British people. Now, how about number nine? How many little shops are there? Eight. 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 No, there are eight. eight. Little Someone shops only. Eight. <laughs> you can spell out eight or write the number eight. And how long is the journey minutes. time? 45 minutes. minutes. What was the three minutes that he called it earlier? From the Shin, from the, the Shin Yokohama yeah. station yeah. to the museum itself. It's a three minute walk. But from Yokohama to, uh, from Tokyo, I mean, to the, start, the museum, it's a 45 minute train ride. So 45 minutes is the answer. Now, did anyone write there 45 M-I-N? Yeah. M-I-N-S. Yeah. Okay, June did. Julius okay. did. Okay, yeah. uh, this it's fine for now, but again, if possible, don't abbreviate. Okay, write the word minutes. Okay, like earlier, million. Yes, 
Again, uh, number seven can connect in number nine earlier. That could also be the word eight or one. number seven, the number first one. Yes. Okay. How are the scores now? Better? Six. Six. <laughs> the better lower. Well, naturally, because this is a much tougher section to deal with. Peter, how did you fare? Uh, seven the million is yeah. the best <laughs> one. And if the, the comma in thousand, it's also essential to write the comma, like five comma zero zero zero. Yes, because if you do it this way, <coughs> it will be the year five thousand. Right, mm -hmm. just like 2018 mm -hmm. is our current year, you don't have commas over here. But since you are writing how many um, years of no, no, value? Uh, no, 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 uh, I mean, in, in case if I would write 3,478,000, yeah. I have to separate. Oh, yes, yeah. you mean every like time, the, oh, every correct. time I have to se separate the exactly. thousands, yes, millions, yes. And millions. So, so if you have larger numbers beyond a thousand, for example, yes. If these are discrete numbers, then the commas have to be there to separate the thousands altogether. Yeah. Good. All right. Uh, Joseph, how did you fare? Uh, ten. You got ten out of ten. Good. All right. Maybe we can learn from Joseph also eventually, right? <laughs> Especially in this next part uh, where we talk about vocabulary, right? Now, before we get into that, however, let us take a look at one important reminder here, a couple in fact, uh, and there's this rule in the IELTS, uh, we call it the monkey rule in the IELTS, um, and basically what this rule says is that, it's here on page four, give to the monkey only that which the monkey wants, no more, no less. In other words, we provide what the monkey requires. In this case, the monkey is the question. You don't provide no more than what it requires, neither no less than of it also. So be responsive simply. Now let's give it a try. Um, I will just speak out the words or the text, and I'd like you to complete numbers one to six yourselves. All right, take a look at number one. On the screen, guys, is the same text, all right? Here is what the speaker says. The class is held once a week. So what do we put in number one? Every week. Every okay. day. Joseph says every week. Every so week. it means just the word week. How about you, Robbie? <coughs> week. How about you, Emil? Week. Okay. How about you, Maria? A week. Uh. Okay. Do you write once a week? Yeah. All right. How about you, yes. Rick? Once a week. Okay. Now, if you did that, okay, the speaker did say the class is held once a week. However, if you take a look at the sentence here, the word every is given already, which is the same as the words once a. Therefore, it would be a redundancy if we write once a week after the word every. So, therefore, we are providing more than what the question requires. It becomes incorrect. So therefore, we just write the word week. Week. Every week. Every week. In other words, it happens once a week. Okay, say the speaker says the price of a remote control is four dollars. So of course you write four point zero zero or just the number four. Now, when you transfer now the answer from the question to the separate sheet, do you write this? No. no. Just four. Why? Why would you not use the dollar sign? It's just a dollar sign. It's a really a dollar sign. Because the dollar sign is part of the question itself. What you're only asked is the number itself. Therefore, it would be wrong if you include the dollar sign. Right? So the, the transferring of answers is very important also. You have to check out what's provided. So in this case, guys, we just write 4 or 4.00. Okay? Now, take a look at number 3 now. Um, this is very similar, guys, to our first listening drill earlier when we wrote home and office. 
what if you now have the word and, but since you cannot copy the word and, what do we or how do we write it on the answer sheet? For example, if the speaker says both A and B are important, so of course you write A, B. But how now do you write A, B on the answer sheet? Um, okay, so here yeah. are some important rules to follow, guys, okay? Let me just write it down on the board. To guide you. So, in the of certain words, for example, if you have the word end in the questionnaire, I'd like you all to use a comma to separate those two number or two items. So, for example, in number one earlier in the first drill, you write home, comma, office. In the same manner, you write a comma B in exchange of the word end. Now, what if we have range, say, oh no, sorry, uh, an or, an alternative idea. Say the answer is either five or 10. So we write five or 10. In lieu of an or, we use a slash, a forward slash to be exact. Forward, because there's a backward slash also the slopes to the left okay so this is uh, forward slash ranges number five yes. yes in this case in lieu of the word two say the speaker says between 1980 and 1990 so it's therefore alternatively from 80 to 1990 so the word two now can be replaced by a yes. dash a dash is very similar to a hyphen, only it's a little longer than a hyphen. So that's how it's going to be like on the wall. Now, one last try. Number six. Again, I'll speak out. We complete. Okay. So here's how the text goes. The speaker says, To protect their produce from pests and other harmful elements, farmers use plastic wrapper. Plastic. Okay, so what's number six? Plastic. plastic. Okay, I did say plastic wrapper. Mm -hmm. However, if you write plastic wrapper, just um, like the number one earlier, if you write once a, uh, it will be a redundancy because the word covering is the same as wrapper. So, plastic. you just write the word plastic. Okay, another one, guys. Something about the word limits or the number limits given in the instruction. Let's say in the actual test, the answer is 300 pencils. If this is the instruction provided, would this be correct? Would form A be correct under that first instruction? Yep. Write no more than three words and or a number. Yep. We are allowed three words. Yeah. We only have one, so it fits. Mm -hmm. Are we allowed to use a number? It's yes, because it says and or a number. So it's either just a number or a word <coughs> or both. As long as it's only one each. For under the first instruction, this would be correct. Now, alternatively, I can also spell out 300. <clears throat> right, so. So, if this is the case, would my answer still be correct? Yes, it is still correct under the first condition. <clears throat> One, two, three words. Now, what if, however, this is instruction number two? Naturally, B would still be correct. Yeah. But would A be correct? No. no. Because we're only allowed or words, no numbers. <clears throat> right? So, A would be wrong. How about this third instruction? Would A be correct over here? Yeah. Yes. 
But how about B? No, it won't. Because we're only allowed one word maximum. Okay? So again, pay attention to these instructions that's part of what you are being tested. Uh, it's your it's your ability to follow instructions because you read and there's some comprehension involved there. So pay attention to that also.